the chorus stays the same, just not the same. Yeah. yeah. May the peace of Christ be with you. In the growing darkness we gather. Our Lenten journey has brought us here. Jesus, our teacher and companion, sets before us a basin and a towel. Bread and a cup Christ gives us an example 
of a commandment ever new, to love one another as he has loved us. This is how everyone will know that we are his disciples when we love one another. Let us join together in our opening hymn that will be led by our Logos Worship Arts Junior and Senior Highs. Number 229, Jésus, Jésus, fill us with your love. Welcome to this sacred service as we continue our journey through Holy Week. Tonight, may we grow deeper in our seeking as we follow Christ's way of love. The peace of Christ be with you. And also with you. We pray together. Loving God, we gather for worship as the shadows gather, the shadows of Jesus' suffering and death. 
We come here tonight with friends, with those who have followed Christ in every place and every generation, and we relive this story of service and betrayal, this story of weakness and courage. God of dirty hands and tired feet, taking people as they come, kneeling and healing, touching where others turn away. Forgive us when we become too obsessed about being pure. Forgive us when we hold life in contempt for the messy business it is. When we are too proud to own up to our own brokenness, if we keep hidden what needs refreshment, how can you care for us? Well, you can care for us. And this is how. When we are ready to move from distance to involvement, from intent to action, from distance to touch, then you will wash the feet that tire on rocky roads. You will care and heal beyond our expectations. We are here on this quiet and sacred night to witness your love in action. As we gather, as we sing, as we pray, as we listen, as we wonder, bless us in the spirit of Jesus Christ, we pray. These prayers, both spoken and unspoken, we offer in his name, and together we say, Amen. At last, the day of Passover came. That evening, Jesus and his disciples and, and family gathered in an upstairs room to share the feast. Together, they heard the story of how God once led their people out of a place of tears and misery into a whole new life. As they shared the special foods, they remembered different parts of the story. Salt, water, and bitter herbs remind us of the tears our ancestors cried when they were slaves in Egypt. A paste of ground fruit reminds us of the mud bricks our ancestors had to make. Unleavened bread's bread speaks of how quickly they had to flee. There was no time to let the bread rise. Roast lamb helps us think of the blood that marked the doors of our ancestors' homes. The night death passed over them. Every bite made them feel a part of the ancient story, part of something bigger. Then Jesus did something new. He took a flat loaf of bread, said a prayer of thanks, broke the bread into pieces, and gave it to those gathered at the table. This is my body given for you. Then he took a cup of deep red wine. This is my body poured out for you. Whenever you eat and drink, remember me. Everyone was quiet. Images, memories, words, and stories danced in their hearts and minds like shadows from the flickering lamps. Bread, 
seeds falling into the ground, green plants springing up, many kernels of grain ground into flour and formed into one loaf. Baked over a fire, it becomes something new, something shared, manna in the desert, a picnic in the wilderness. Wine, plump grapes growing from a single vine, crushed underfoot, there's juice collected into stone jars. In the darkness, it changed into something new, something shared, a wedding feast, dinner with Zacchaeus, a celebration of lost and found. Bread and wine, such simple things, but they point to great mysteries. One from many, life and death, transformation, becoming something new. Every bite, every sip, made them feel part of the story, part of something bigger. What Jesus did next shocked them all. Jesus loved his friends and wanted to show them his love in a very caring way. Jesus filled a large basin with water, got a linen cloth, Mm -hmm. and knelt down on the floor to tenderly uh, wash the feet of each of his disciples. When it came to Peter's turn, Peter said to Jesus, You will never wash my feet. It seemed wrong that Jesus should do the work of a servant, but he insisted. Peter, you you don't understand what I'm doing now, but you will later. Then don't just wash my feet, but wash my head and my hands also. Peter loved Jesus so much and wanted to be as close to him as possible. Long ago, God decided to shape a new kind of people, people who are being peace and blessing to the world. Part of my work has been to show you what this means. What does it look like when God makes you into something new? How does it happen? What do you have to do? For one thing, you need to stop worrying about who is most important. Things are upside down in the kingdom of God. Teachers wash the feet of their students. Here is another thing. I am the vine and you are the branches. We are part of each other, connected. We share the same life, so stop stop looking for differences. Look for ways you are one with me and with each other. Above all, love each other. Love each other the way I have loved you. The room was full of warmth, love, and light. Join together in singing our next hymn, number 225, A New Commandment.
on their own, the bread and the wine are nothing to become a foretaste and a promise of love made real and a world made whole, they need a story and a blessing and people who believe. It would not have been God's table had they not all been gathered around it. The betrayer and the friend, the power hungry and the justice seeker, the faithful and the fickle. When Jesus poured the wine and the bread was broken, when everyone could eat, the outcast and the beloved, the arrogant and the gracious, the wrongdoer and the wrongly done by, the table became a foretaste of love made real and a world made whole. Tonight, your company at this table will include the betrayer and the beloved, the wrongdoer and the wrongly done by. It would not be God's table without them. And the promise is that when we are together, when we tell the story and give the blessing, when we break bread and we pour the wine, we will discover a foretaste of love made real and a world made whole. Tonight we will celebrate communion in something of a, an unusual way. There are 13 chairs around this table. There is a table for each of the disciples. And the table with the towel here represents the Christ chair. That one will remain empty because it is Christ who is host at the table tonight. When it comes time, after Courtney and I pray together, we'll pray a thank, Thanksgiving prayer. Uh, we will invite you to, to come up in groups of 12. And uh, I will stay at the table. Courtney will uh, come down to floor level for those of you who would like to celebrate communion but choose not to come up to this table. So you have options. Uh, I will wait until the 12 chairs are filled and then I will serve everyone in the circle, and they will be uh, the little cups with the two tabs. The top tab with, will expose the wafer, and the lower tab, the grape juice. You can, when you receive the cup, you can eat and drink as you wish. Just wait a moment, and then as a group, you can stand up, return to the pews, and then the next group can come up. So if you do come up, and the chairs are filled. We've set up a couple of other chairs over here so you can wait for the next round. Uh, this is a, a way that we enter into the story. We become part of this narrative, which is a part of our salvation history. We become a disciple at the table. Powerful reminder that we are uh, Christ's disciples in the here and in the now. Those of you who are live streaming we encourage you to find something to eat and and to drink and join in with us uh, we've got several we've got about enough people here to do a few rounds of that so it'll take some time just enjoy the moment enjoy the moment we pray we pray just as jesus prayed with the disciples before they had their meal christ gave us the mandate to love one another Christ gave us the peace that we will never be left alone. Christ gave us the picture that we are connected as vine and branches. Christ gave us the assurance that no one will take away our joy. God is with you. God is with us all. Open wide our hearts. We open our hearts to new possibilities. From this table here in the sanctuary to dining room and coffee tables at home, this is the time to give God our thanks and praise. Our homes may be filled with young voices or our homes may be filled with overwhelming silence. This table may be brimming with family 
or we may be sitting by ourselves at the empty table, but the table is never truly empty. The silence will not be the last sound you hear. Jesus the Christ has created a realm of love for each of us, one in which we will be united with loved ones, one in which we are assured of God's comfort. That night was a night filled with teachings and memories. Undoubtedly, tears were shed and laughs raised. This was the night before Jesus' death. Jesus took bread, and as he blessed it and broke it, he said to his friends at the table, this is my body body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, he lifted the cup, and he said, this is a sign of the new covenant. Whenever you drink it, remember me. Whenever you drink it, remember the love that we share with one another. God of spirits, surround the bread, surround the cup, surround the elements, no matter what form they take. Surround us, no matter where we are. Bless us in our eating and drinking. Bless our connection near and far. Our covenant with you will keep us together. Amen. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Thanks Thanks be be to to God. God. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Thanks Thanks be be to to God. God. The bread of life. And the cup of joy. We invite you to come forward as you are able.
I shared with some of the folks earlier who gathered for supper, mandi is a Latin word which comes from mandatum, which is translated commandment. It was on this night, as you've already witnessed, that when Jesus was washing the disciples' feet, that the disciples were given the commandment to love one another as I have loved you. Mandi, mandatum, commandment Thursday. Our prayer, after having been nourished at this table, is that God will indeed equip us to be faithful in the ministry of loving one another as God has loved and indeed loves, present tense, us. We pray. Given the example of vulnerability and connection, with the words of your new commandment ringing in our hearts, the commandment that we love one another as you love us, we go from this table ready to serve you and one another. This meal is a source of inspiration and courage that we might follow in your footsteps, heed your example, and lavish love upon one another, not just in the moments when it's easy, but especially during the times when it can be so hard. May we be transformed by your presence and nourished for the holy journey which lies before us. And together we say, Amen. We join together in our closing hymn, number 471, We Are One in the Spirit. calling to go out into the world, scattered to the ends of the earth, to love as Christ loved, and serve in the name of Christ. It is our calling to remember, even in the darkest hour, who and whose we are. We remember that Christ is always with us. And we remember that on this night, we are taught how to love. Go into the world and love in the name of the one who loved you until the end. It all begins and ends and begins again with love. This is the story of God. This is our story. Amen. I'm Hugh Donnelly, one of the ministers at Knox Waterloo. Thank you for being a part of the worshiping community today. 
You can find us online at knoxwaterloo.ca and you are always welcome to call us at 519-886-4150. This broadcast is made possible by you, listeners and friends of Knox, who support Knox's broadcast ministry. Please consider making a donation in gratitude as you are able, and may the peace of Christ be with you.